Hey folks, Brian here from the Honest Mechanic channel. Today we're going to talk about a serious issue that can really mess up your engine coolant mixed with oil. Now, you might be thinking, what's the big deal? It's just a little fluid mixing, right? Wrong. When coolant mixes with oil, it's a major red flag that something is seriously wrong with your engine, and if left unchecked, it can lead to catastrophic damage. So let's dive right in and go over some of the most common culprits behind this coolant oil cocktail of doom. First up, we have the blown head gasket. This little gasket acts as a seal between the engine block and the cylinder head, keeping the coolant and oil in their respective lanes. But when it fails, it's like opening the floodgates, allowing coolant to leak into the oil passages or even the combustion chambers. And let me tell you, oil and coolant do not make a happy couple. If you suspect a blown head gasket, the best course of action is to get it replaced as soon as possible. Driving with a blown head gasket can quickly lead to even more damage. Next on the list is cracks in the engine block or cylinder head. These can be caused by high heat or physical damage, and they act as little highways for coolant to sneak into the oil system. It's like having a bunch of tiny leaks all over the place, and trust me, that's not a good thing. Unfortunately, cracks in the engine block or cylinder head are often difficult and expensive to repair, and in many cases it might make more sense to replace the entire engine. Then we have warped cylinder heads. When your engine gets too hot, the cylinder heads can literally warp and twist, compromising that all-important head gasket seal. It's like trying to keep water in a twisted-up bucket. Not gonna happen. If you catch a warped cylinder head early enough, you might be able to have it resurfaced or replaced, but if left unchecked, it can lead to even more severe damage. Finally, we have faulty oil coolers. Some engines use coolant to regulate the temperature of the oil, and if there's a leak in that oil cooler, you guessed it, coolant ends up mixing with the oil. Now, if you notice the coolant oil mixture only in the reservoir but not in the engine itself, this is likely the culprit. In this case, the oil cooler can often be replaced without having to touch the engine itself, which is a more cost-effective repair. Now, you might be thinking, okay, so what's the big deal? A little coolant in the oil, no biggie, right? Wrong again. Coolant in the oil is like throwing a wrench into the works, pun intended. It completely compromises the oil's ability to lubricate the engine properly, leading to increased friction overheating and potentially catastrophic engine failure. And let me tell you, replacing an engine is not cheap, folks. We're talking thousands upon thousands of dollars depending on the make and model of your vehicle. So if you notice that telltale, milky, or frothy appearance in your oil or oil cap, don't ignore it. Get your car to a mechanic ASAP and have them diagnose the issue before it's too late. The longer you wait, the more damage is likely to occur, and the more expensive the repair will be. Remember, preventative maintenance is key when it comes to keeping your car running smoothly and avoiding costly repairs down the line.